Okay guys, listen up. We're gonna talk about why the scale isn't moving and why I don't want you worrying about the damn scale. We are not chasing numbers, we're chasing results. Okay, what are some reasons that we are not seeing the scale moving? Okay, inflammation and water retention. The two number things we're gonna talk about. So there's acute inflammation and there's chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation is when our body, it's a natural response to the body when say we're lifting weights and we're breaking down muscle. Our body is going to send blood and nutrients and water to that area to heal and repair. Now, another thing, on our periods, ladies, don't even step on the scale. Not an option that week. Stay far away from it as possible. We are not defining ourselves by a number. We're not chasing numbers, we're chasing results. I see way too many people give up on themselves because they want instant gratification instead of looking at the long-term results. Where do you wanna see yourself six from, months from now, a year from now? Focus on the process. Your process drives your progress. We are not defined by a number. And the more you educate and understand and have knowledge on why uh, the scale isn't moving or what is happening to our body internally, then it's going to help you understand that the scale does not define where you're at and the results that you're getting. It is just a tool. There are many other ways to be tracking your progress, such as your BMI, your in-body scans, your clothes, your measurements, the way you look and feel in the mirror. Those are gonna be much more accurate than just a scale number. Let's talk about certain foods that cause um, bloating and inflammation. Carbohydrates, your fruits and veggies even. So fruits and veggies, um, as much as we love them and we should be eating them, they are going to be a slower digesting uh, process in the body because of their high fiber content. It's actually gonna pull water into your digestive tract. And that's why a lot of times people feel bloated when they cert eat certain vegetables. Our bodies survive off of glucose and our body's primary energy source is used from glucose, which are carbohydrates. And in order for our carbohydrates, we can store up to 400 grams of carbohydrates in just the muscle tissue. So that's for every one gram of uh, carbohydrate in the muscle, your body's gonna pull in three to four grams of water. So it's another way that we're actually storing water. It's why our muscles look fuller when we eat carbohydrates. So to reiterate, don't get fixated on the scale, Focus on the process. Your process is going to determine your progress. Now, I wish everybody's diagram would show just an even two pounds every single week or a pound, but it's not like that. Everyone's diagram is gonna look like a jigsaw. It's gonna go up, down. You're gonna have up two pounds, down three pounds, up 0.5, down two five, but it's what we wanna see long-term results, month to month. As long as we are still seeing you dropping, then you know that you are making progress. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and you have gotten some knowledge out of this and I will talk to you all soon.